today is Digital Nuggets number two. Today we are going to address the issue of your child and feeding habits. I want to make a plea, parent. The feeding time for a child up to about the age of four is the most brain brilliant time. What you do for him or her during feed time, he will always remember. So the child must not be put on the screen at all during the feeding time. Now you go saying that's very impractical, we need the screen to feed our child, how can we keep him quiet? Please, if you have already started on it, wean him off. If you have not started him on a screen while eating, please never start it. Because the child's five senses are strongest and are strongly moving stimulated during the feed time. He gets the smell of food. He has t he touches food and shapes. He's touching the carrot, he's touching the beetroot, and he's getting shapes. And then he's tasting food and he really likes it. So all the senses are all keyed up, the taste buds, during the feed time. So when the brain is already stimulated, that's the time the brain is ready to get more information and more work. So the child should do many creative things at the feed time. You should be singing to him, saying the, and, and in your own language, doing the poems, Baba, Black Sheep, Gentle Jesus, Meek and Mild, at the feed time. Feed time is a brilliant time for language learning and picking up sounds and noises because that's the way a child is wired. So keep your feed time as prime time. Dad, Mom, I want to appeal to you. Somehow get the breakfast for the child together. If you can, sit with him, sit with her. But certainly dinner time is sacrosanct, which means whoever is doing what, World Cup, rugby is going, uh, 50 overs is going, whatever is going, that time be with the child when he's feeding. Make it a family thing. You will bond as a family and the child will be doing and learning many things, the social interactions, social bonding. And his heart is warm and feed time is a happy time. It's a serotonin time. It's a satisfaction time. When a child learns satisfaction, he is, it's the best thing you can do to a child. Then the child works towards doing something to a satisfactory end. I'll be doing this as nugget number three, so be on. But today I want to do this feed time properly. So if you get the child digitalized, what happens is his appetite changes and he begins to want more junk food. And a child by the age of four, five, six will know which junk food stimulates him best. He's already on a dopamine high because of the digital screen. What the digital screen does is it prolongs the dopamine curve and doesn't allow the serotonin curve to come up. The dopamine curve in the conceptual tracks of the brain keeps saying do, do, do. But the serotonin curve does a self check back and says, well done, I can do this better. All this can be taught at the feed time. So don't miss your child's feed time. Do your best to be there. Never put the screen on. And if there's some carer, be very nice to the carer because the carer has to be dad's heart and mom's heart to the child. Treat your carer very well. Don't treat the carer like a servant. So this was some essential advice about feed time. Next time we will do about how a child is going to do the learning curve as he's growing up, attention span and so on. Thank you.